Hello, my name is Jimmy, and this is my CS50 final project. So let's begin. My final project is a web application designed to help users find nearby gas stations based on their geolocation, uh, given by Google Maps embedded on a web page. You can also find uh, a geolocation with a search bar that I made from Google Maps. And so this is a login page to my application. Uh, don't have an account, click this link, and you can enter the appropriate fields, like my first name, last name, email, and a fake phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a fake password, two, three, four, five, five, repeat it, click register, and go back to sign in. And we put in username, just a prefix to my email, the fake password that I made, click login, and it should direct you to my homepage. It's called, so as you can see, this is the name of my, of my web, web application. It's called Gaslib X, uh, which is on top of my inter interactive navigation bar which has buttons that will connect you to the about page, locations page, and savings page. Um, also has some information about the application itself on the homepage right here. Yeah, so that's the homepage. So this is the about page. It has a guide to what the purpose of the application is, as a pages guide, as a login, as login, register user, index to HTML, and geolocation HTML, HTML, the resources that I used, interactive features that I used. As you can see, I use Google Maps, Google, Map, Google Maps for my projects mainly. Uh, I use Google Maps, the Google, Google, Google Maps auto complete search bar, input fields, Google Maps uh, scripts, Login button and a navigation bar. And location. Uh, for the location to work, you have to enable location surfaces on my browser. So I hit I hit allow. And so yeah, I'm in Baghdad right now. Uh, you can click satellite. So you can see the satellite view of Google Maps, which is pretty cool. Also the street view. Street view. Zoom in, zoom out. And this is the search bar that I inputted. Gas stations nearby. And it should populate nearby gas stations. Um, and lastly, the savings page. So this is the savings page. Um, this is cool because you can, the user can input data, uh, gas data, so they can use it for their budgeting, their budget, or their records. So let's put an example. Uh, gas is expensive nowadays. It's usually around three and a half dollars to four dollars, up to four dollars. Uh, make a model of a vehicle. I put Toyota. Tacoma. I drive a Toyota Tacoma. I drove a total of ten miles. And I paid a total of seventy dollars for gas on this date, October twenty third, twenty twenty two. Hit submit, and this is the Google Sheets that I made. So this is what I count. So I have data from the previous in entry and the entry that I just made right here. I paid four dollars for gas. I drove a Toyota, Toyota Tacoma, and this date. We go 10, 10 miles on this date and 70 miles 